Google Sheets is just as flexible as Microsoft Excel, all without having to pay for it. One feature that's virtually the same between the two is how it handles most formulas, including how it handles time. If you need to keep an online timesheet but don't know how to start, here's what you need to know. Google Sheets automatically recognizes time input, typing in 9 p.m., 9 colon 00 p.m., or even just 21 colon 00 will format a cell as a time cell. By default, Google Docs will use 24-hour time format. Formally formatting a cell as a time cell will add additional zeros to denote seconds. To do so, highlight the cells, then click on the numbers icon next to the font menu at the font selector on the tool ribbon at the top. Select time from the list, and all of your highlighted cells will be formally formatted as time cells. Google Sheets will also automatically format any calculations involving time and time format. For example, to simply calculate the number of hours worked based on clock in and clock out time, you'll just need to subtract clock out time from the clock in time. In the cell where you want the total time to appear, type in the equal sign, select the clock out time cell, tap the minus key, then select the clock in time cell. Tap enter, and you'll get a result formatted in hours and minutes. To get a number that you can use for further calculations, like totaling the number of hours worked in a week, you'll have to format the cells as a number. Input the formula that you see on the screen into the cell, replacing the hashtag terms with the cell numbers containing the specified information. This formula will account for overnight shifts that clock out past midnight. By default, Google Sheets will count an empty cell as 00, 00, or midnight. If you have an entire timesheet and don't want a calculation done if a value for either time in or out is missing, use this formula instead. Again, replacing the hashtag terms with the cell numbers containing the first instance of the specified information. For your convenience, we'll include all the formulas mentioned in the description below. These formulas calculate time within a 24-hour period. If you're trying to calculate for anything beyond 24 hours, these formulas will not work. If you like this guide, Make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Google Sheets and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of the videos we think you might enjoy.